Hi everybody and welcome to Fun With Research. This is Susan Beyer. Uh, I want to talk today about context in research. All research projects have a context and that's really a function of uh, when they were conducted, how they were conducted, who conducted them, who was invited to participate, uh, how were they invited to participate, um, etc. That's all context around a research project and every project has context and it's important to understand the context of a project when you're planning it, when you're conducting it, and especially when you're analyzing the results and looking at them sort of to impact your decisions moving forward. So as I record this, we are in the early stages of the coronavirus pandemic in the United States and I have a lot of clients asking about whether they should pause research initiatives, whether they should cancel research initiatives uh, until things um, get back to normal. Um, so this is where context can really come into play. If you were planning on conducting in-person focus groups around the country for your initiative, you need to pause and think about how you can translate that into online or virtual groups. Um, because obviously getting people together for a focus group is not going to be terribly successful or safe at this point. Um, if you're doing survey research, uh, survey responses are actually up right now, so it's not a bad time to do survey research. But again, you need to think about the context of your research and what you want to use it for. So if you are a retailer, um, it's important to understand that as you ask people about their behavior, how they go about supplying themselves for their do-it-yourself projects at home, for example, you may see different answers over the course of the next month or two than you would have seen before the pandemic showed up in the United States in terms of people going to retail locations or whatever. Now, you can get value out of understanding how people's behaviors have changed, um, but perhaps a lockdown situation isn't the best time to get information about how people expect to ongoing be able to fulfill their needs. So you just sort of need to think about that a little bit. If you're a hospital group doing research on how people feel about their health, their concerns about their health care coverage, how your hospital group is delivering against their expectations, again, think about whether you want information about how your community is feeling right now, even in the midst of a very difficult and sometimes a panic-stricken time. Um, or if you're trying to gauge sort of as we come out of this into the future, what are their expectations, then that may change uh, the timing or even the structure of your research. So if you have research underway, you don't necessarily need to pause it or stop it. Kind of depends on your industry and what the goal of your research is. I would encourage you to talk to your research providers um, about this question of context and see if there's anything in there that suggests you may want to either tweak your plans or adjust your timing or whatever. So I hope that's helpful. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to let me know. There's a uh, sign up form on funwithresearch.com where you can ask questions that I will answer on the show. I hope you're all safe and healthy and uh, look forward to seeing you next Friday. Bye.